Hey everybody, so we are going to dive into campaigns. Now this video will be a basic overview of, of how to build camp, well not really how to build them in detail, but we'll just talk about what the campaign tab looks like, why it's so important, and um, all the things that you're going to see when you start a new campaign. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do a little uh, uh, preview here and just a little overview, and then we'll dive into specific videos regarding how to build campaigns. Okay, so your campaigns are the most important part of your T-Rex plugin. This is where you're going to be sending your traffic to. Uh, this is where you'll pick the products that you've created to put into your campaign. And this will be sort of like your landing page where you're going to be showing people your products, showing potential customers, and having them being able to add it to a cart. Okay. So with that said, when you come to campaigns, after you've started building some products, you're going to build a campaign. And then you're going to put those products in your campaign. So you're simply going to come over here and hit Add New. So this will be your, uh, your campaign name. So I know we built a couple of products called Mom Life. And so we'll just uh, we'll kind of stick with that. We'll call this campaign mom life. And once you uh, click out, once you enter that, you're going to get a permalink here. So this is basically your campaign URL, and it's going to have the sh uh, you know the name of your website uh, slash shop slash mom life. So you can edit this by just clicking this. But normally, um, for SEO reasons, you're going to want to kind of leave it to how, how you have it. Um, and it will be each word will be separated by a dash. But if you need to, as you go through and start to duplicate campaigns, so you don't have to build one from scratch every single time. This is where you will get a duplicate, and this is where you can edit that uh, permalink into whatever the name of your campaign is. Okay. So you're going to see here. I'm going to click on these arrows. I'm going to show you all of the fields that a campaign uh, consists of, and this will kind of be our overview. So uh, here you have your ad products. Okay, and this is where you're going to add the products that you've already built and that you want to feature on this campaign. So if you click that arrow down, you'll see it says select products. Once you click in here, uh, you can add the products that you want to, uh, to be into your campaign. The first product will be the main featured product, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here in just one second. And then so as you, as you select one, you hit this plus button, and it looks like we have one named, both named white tea. Let's just go and fix that real quick, and I'll give you a little bonus here. So I'm going to go back to my products, and it looks like I accidentally named one uh, both white tea, so I can see this one is black, so I'm just going to edit this, and I'm going to change that in the campaign. And see, this is it's good that that kind of happened, because you can see this is where it's pulling the product name is from the, the campaign, is pulling the product from the product name here. So that's how you're able to... Uh, see which ones you want to put in that campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to save this as a draft. And then we should be able to see that that automatically changed. Okay, so now it says Mom Life Black Tea. And then as you can, if you have mugs, if you have whatever your products that you want to feature in your campaign, this is where you're going to uh, add your products. But as you see, when you, you can actually move these around, you can move your columns and um, all these around, and I'll show you what all these mean, but these are uh, drop and drag if, if you, depending on how you like to work on your campaign before you set it up. I like having the ad products at the top because that's the first thing you're going to do. Now the columns are a little bit different. This is a little bit more involved, and this is where you're going to be entering your copy. Uh, this is where you're going to be entering your headline. And so as you come through, you'll see you have right-hand column one, two, three, and four, right-hand column five, and then you have a left-hand column a footer single column, a footer left content, a footer right content, and a bottom with full box and campaign content. So we will kind of go through those. And I've actually pulled up a campaign that's that's been that's been made, and so I can kind of show you exactly what uh, what these right hand columns and left hand columns and all that stuff mean. So a right hand column one is where you're going to see exactly what um, um, the, your copy and your headline. So if we come over to a to, uh, so if we put in here, I've been having problems with my mouse here. Let's come over here. Oh, it's just loading real quick. So 
So if you see, I'm sorry, just pause it for a second. Um, so we'll put in here, we'll put in uh, right hand column one, and then we'll kind of, we'll publish this or we'll preview it so you can um, see exactly where these things lined up, line up at. Okay, let's go ahead and save this draft. But I'll show you on a finished campaign. So again, here's what an actual campaign looks like. So again, that first product's always gonna be your featured product, and then whatever you have underneath will be lined up here underneath your featured product, okay? The right hand, this is the title of your campaign is gonna show up here. And then this right hand column one is going to be uh, all of this text that you see here, okay? So if we come over, um, if we come over back to the campaign that we're doing, let's just go ahead and hit preview. So you can kind of see as we're going along. So you can see that here is the main, the feature products. Here's your, here's your products here. And then here's the mom life and here's right hand column one. Okay, so this is where you're gonna kind of see some of this, all this text here is where you're gonna see that's gonna be in the right hand column one, okay? Uh, we also give directions on how to, you know, order if you're doing personalized or non-personalized. But again, this is up to you. This is where you're going to want to put um, all of your your instructions, your descriptions, all that type of thing here. Okay. And so this is kind of the right-hand column. What other? Uh, we'll, we'll dive into more what these short codes mean in, in other training videos. But for right now, I just wanted to show you what these columns were. Right-hand column two. Okay, if we say this is a draft and then we come over here and you'll see where that's lined up here. So again, you can put as much, you have just basically this much copy. If you want to put your copy in right hand column one, you can. So we give you enough, enough room. And again, this is, I think on this one, this is where uh, the right hand column two starts for me on this particular uh, campaign. And then as you can see, right hand column three and so on and so on, right hand column four, it just kind of moves down the line and it will push all of this stuff down uh, on your desktop view as you go through, okay? Now, if you go left hand column one, starting with the left hand column, let's go ahead and see that. And then we'll come over here and we'll see where that lines up. Refresh that. So you can see the left-hand column one is going to be um, underneath your, your your products, okay? So on this particular one, I'll show you what I did is I put this uh, underneath the products. This is the product description, and I'll show you how that works uh, under the left-hand column one. That's one of these short codes here. You can see that you can enter in the product description and that pulls it right from the description that you built uh, in your product, okay? So you can use these short codes and that's where it's gonna pull up here. So if you wanna go ahead and put that in here, product description, um, and you can see what, and we'll get into these, what these other ones mean in other videos, but let's just show you this. So if you save the draft and we'll come over here, this should pull up the product description that we have for, the, for, these, uh, for these shirts, okay? And you can see that's where it pulls it up. So you can put other headlines in there if you want, and it will pull up each product description as somebody clicks on a shirt, okay? So if you wanna put in your product descriptions, you know, this is a white t-shirt, this is a black t-shirt, so people know when they click on it, you can do that, but you do that on the product level, okay? So uh, again, left-hand, right-hand columns, left-hand columns. Uh, the footer single column, okay? So the footer single column, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually pull up the footer single column, this is your footer. And as you can see, uh, we have a left-hand side of the footer and a right-hand side of the footer. We have these images in here. And um, I wanna show you exactly where those are so you guys can see exactly how we set those up for your footers. So if you come on down here, and you can see a lot of this, the right-hand column stuff, uh, you know, you may not use it, but it's just good to know that, you know, you have to know what you're, what you have here, okay? So the footer single column, I, we usually use these blank because we set up the footers to look like this and you don't really need to use that single column. So if you move on to the footer left column, this is where you can put your uh, quality guarantee. You can you know, put whatever you wanna put in your footer. 
Um, you can insert uh, any sort of media. So as you can see on here, we have our quality guarantee. We have all products, you know, just something about the quality. Whatever you want to add, you can make up your own footer. Uh, we have made in the USA here, and that's on the footer left-hand side. Okay, you can also see that the, the color of the footer is a, a slightly, uh, a, a slight gray, so it kind of uh, separates itself from the white background of the page. And then if you, if you click into your text, you can see that uh, once, you, once you start adding, you'll have, a natu you'll have this code in here, and you can change that probably. This is probably the, the, the color of the footer here. So if you want to get your hex colors, you can do that. And if you tick, you know, click on visual, it kind of gives you what, what, what it actually looks like. So you can change that, and that's the left-hand content. And then you're going to come down here to the right-hand content, and this particular one, uh, and as you can see these are just examples for us. You can you can add any images in here that you would like. Uh, this will be secure checkout, so you can add all your information. You know, uh, get all those trust points in in your footer. Uh, you can add um, your if you want to put you know underneath here we have our privacy policy in terms of service. It's really important to probably have that on your footer, so that way uh, Facebook uh, you know doesn't shut off your ads because you know you don't have anything on here that it describes your. And these are simple links right over to um, these are simple links right over to your your page, your terms of use page, and your privacy policy page. Okay. So the bottom full width box. This will uh, this is actually will show up for anything that will kind of be underneath uh, underneath all of this, but not actually in a footer. Okay. So um, it's going to be uh, you can use. Um, other images. Uh, a lot of people like to put, uh, and we'll get into this in when, we, when I describe uh, testimonials. They'll use a testimonial code to go into this bottom full width box uh, that we have right here. And it's just basically saying the bottom full width of the page uh, beneath everything else and then above the footer. Okay. So um, that's kind of, uh, that is like the column section. Okay. And then as we scroll down, we'll see the external URLs. So again, the external URL is if you want to offer other uh, categories for people to go to, you can create a label, and then inside that URL, you can put where those where you want those to go to. Okay. So, and if you want multiple external URLs, like, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We give you an example. So the first label will be um, whatever. Um, the first label will be whatever you want to call it. So what maybe you wanted to call it? Say if you're running. Um, a store and you want you want to show other pages you would just name that page and then equals and then then you would simply just put the URL to that new page and then you would separate them so as many as you want down in the drop downs you can do that so for instance I have here it's shop I just have one it's called family um, and so this will take them into uh, another family page okay so whatever you that's so it just takes them to another page now, if you want to, if you want to name that, um, you know, shop more or categories or other items, whatever you want to name it, that's kind of where you name this in this label. And then again, you just simply put the ones that you want to, you want to list, and then the URL. So you you name it, name your page, or you name your label, and then you put the URL after that. So that's where the external URL comes from. That's up in the header. Okay, and then we kind of get into page styling. Page styling is important because, um, and let's see, we'll move this one up. Page styling. Page styling has a lot of information in it, okay? Um, it has your, your custom header in there. This is where you're going to add your cart image. And you're going to add your logo, okay? So your cart image will be uh, some type of graphic like this. I'm sorry, your cart image will be some, this, this graphic up here, and then your logo, okay? Um, you know, you can change your header background color, your header border color, your menu color, um, and then, of course, if you don't want to have a footer, you can have no footer. You can activate your footer, um, your footer background color. I guess this is actually where you can actually change the footer background color. So uh, this is makes it a lot easier because you can come in here and pick the background that you want. Um, so uh, you can also do a, a custom background of the page uh, on your campaign page, but usually we just leave it white. Uh, you could, but if you wanted to upload a custom image, you can put an image in there, and you can have these options over here to 
uh, to use. So some people like to use like a custom picture if they're maybe selling, um, let's just say car related items or something and they have a pic like a background pictures of some really cool cars or something like that. Okay. Um, you can also make it transparent if you wanted to do that. Okay. Uh, so content area background. So this is just, we just usually leave this white and that's why it's, it's white. Your area background is white. And that's what we suggest. It just, it allows everything to pop off the page a little bit better. And then your title size, this is cool. So these title, this title here, you can change the size. If you want to try to keep it on one line, you can come over here and enter in a certain size. Uh, so you just got to test that, the title color. So you can change it from black, red, whatever you want to do. Uh, if you want the thumbnail to the right, then what that will do is that will put all of these over to the right-hand side. But we usually suggest is to leave them like this as a default. This will activate your Zoom. So usually, you know, if you want people to be able to Zoom over, and we suggest doing that so they can see details of the design, you have to press that on the campaign level. Okay. The form position, we suggest leaving on the left. So what the form position does is that if um, it's going to allow when you have uh, personalized items here, you can leave the form, even though it's on the right, it's going to be, you want to, it's kind of a little bit backwards, but you want to make sure that it's, it's, it's uh, actually you're going to want to put that on the right. Okay. So again, that's where you want to do the form position. Okay. These we'll get into when we do um, personalized campaigns all this stuff. So I'm not going to talk about that now. Um, this has to do with personalization and uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, when you have a size guide, you'll want to be able to activate that if it, if it applies. So if you're selling apparel and you need to have your size guide so people can, can uh, check out sizes, you want to make sure that that link is, this is where you'll enter your size guide, the drop down, what the label will say, what the text will say, and then the size drop down text. So I don't know if I have it on here uh, activated since these are mugs. So again, if you have it, like the guide text will say, uh, you know, size guide. That's all. It will just be a link. And then the size drop down label. This is where you'll enter that text. text. And then whatever you want your text to say, so click, click here to select size. And you can see that it says here, uh, well, since I don't have it activated, this will enter in another field, the size guide field, and it will say that text right there. Uh, the click here to select size. Okay, this is where you up, upload your size guide, your buy button image. So basically, your add to cart, your buy button image. So if you can see mine, here's the, my size guide. Here's my add to cart, and this is this image here. And I think we'll probably try to get everyone some images so you just have them, so you don't have to go out and find them yourself. Um, and then here's some other things that we're going to get into, and I'm not going to go over every single one of these, but uh, what I wanted to tell you is like if you if you create discounts, which we haven't yet, but you can select a discount if you're offering 10%, 20%, whatever you're doing, you can select that. You want to make sure you have your thank you page selected since we have created a thank you page in former training videos. This is where you'll do it on the, uh, the campaign level. If you have it already selected in your business settings, on the global settings, you don't have to worry about that, but I always go through and make sure on every campaign I do, I, ha I make sure that these are selected, okay? We haven't created a confirmation email yet, but again, if you have a default one, once you create one, this will be where you can um, uh, you can do that. A lot of people, uh, if you refer to the confirmation mail uh, training, you'll see that you can create different confirmation emails for separate campaigns or products or things, or if you just want a default, uh, thanks for, you know, you're buying, uh, thanks for, you know, purchasing from us, your order's being processed, that kind of thing. You can pick those here. Okay, uh, we'll get in. This is we'll we'll get into exit pops and notifiers, and we'll get into these are tracking codes that you can use for specific campaigns. Okay, and we'll get into all that on other videos. Uh, as far as menus, this is going to be um, basically your menu is what this is up here. These three spots: money back guarantee, contact us, tracking. So you can make these anything you want. We suggest that you have something like this, so when people click on it. They get, um, people will, they, you can tell them your return policy. You can put contact us, return policy, whatever you want to do. This is where you'll create those menus. Here's where you'll create the label. So if this was return policy, you would add all of your content here, any graphics you might want to add. Um, and then you have the ability to do three menus, okay? 
And that's what they look like up here. This is these menus up here. So you can see contact us. You know, it's a simple, you know, support email. If you have a 1-800 number, you can put that in there, all that kind of stuff. Okay. The Facebook share information, um, you can set this up uh, to where if you put the URL, URL of this on your, on your Facebook page as a post, uh, you can enter in a title. So we would call this Mom Life. And then you can put a description in here, get your best mom life gear here, hashtag mom life, whatever, whatever you want to do. Then you can actually select an image from your library. Okay, so if you have one on a shirt or if you have one on a model, or let's just say we were going to use this, you would insert that. And this is what, if when you share this, this campaign URL on your Facebook page, so say if you just pasted that in your Facebook page, all of this information is what would be what would pull up you can add more images so you can create like a little carousel you can add uh, like if you have mugs in here if you have t-shirts if you have uh, wine glasses whatever you have you can add and it will show up on your Facebook page so that's a really cool feature okay and then this last one is your cart settings your cart page title your cart notice and your banner notice um, and then how you want the default uh, to 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 either be your Stripe or PayPal. If you just want to pay with one, you can just click one. Or, well, this is actually the default, so they will be able to pay with both, but you'll set that up in your business settings if you don't want a Stripe or if you just want PayPal. Okay, so some of these cart settings, um, let's go down here. So some of these cart settings will be uh, basically just your, shark, uh, your shopping cart will be in your cart page title. Um, and some of these are others. So this this is what your cart will look like from this campaign. So um, I don't usually use too much of this stuff, but um, again, uh, we'll we'll get into more specific trainings when it comes to the carts and how to set that up and how it coexists with uh, your campaign settings. Okay, um, if you're doing manually personalized design, this is a button you have to have checked. We'll get more into that. Uh, your button text, complete order, the color of your button as people are checking out. Uh, and then your cart page URL, which cart you're going to use, and you'll you'll find out more about these these two options uh, in the cart se uh, in the cart section of the training. Okay, so then if you want um, continue shopping button, you can put that in here. Okay, so again, uh, a, a just basic overview. We'll get more into detail as we start to populate the store, as we start to populate some campaigns, as we do uh, more uh, personalized campaigns. And then uh, so you can see exactly how these things um, are set up. And uh, again, this is this is one that I already have. You can see that I have uh, some stuff in that right hand column. I have some uh, something in, the, in this uh, right hand column, too. So there's lots of options you can do. But those are the basic functions. Those are the basic uh, fields of your campaigns. And again, uh, look for the videos uh, underneath the campaign overviews for more detailed training. OK, talk to you in the next video.